Hello Summoners and Summonettes, it's Gordon here, and today I'm bringing you a Graves ADC video. So as always, let's go and get right on into it. Picking up the D-Blade, Health Potion, as well as Warden Kill'em. I'm Gordon for the Fun, Kill'em out. And joining me up in the bot lane, or down in the bot lane I guess, is a Taric, and we're up against an Ezreal Brom, so... It's kind of a poke lane versus a fighting lane, we'll see how it goes, but... Their team is... Pretty scary. They got some Dunkaroonies on there with the Yasuo, Kha'Zix, Malphite. So we'll see how this game goes, but we got a little, we got a little bit of interesting team comps. We got, you know, pick potential on our team, and they got just kind of Dunk Squad on their team. So we'll see which team comp is superior. I'm just not going to bother fighting with that Ezreal, no point. Alright. I think this is the first time I'm actually getting to use this skin as well, which I'm pretty excited about because from what I've seen when people use the skin, it looks like it just auto attacks. Like the auto attack, it feels right, if you know what I mean. Because there's, there's some champions where like their autos just don't feel good. Like Karthus to me is one of them where I just feel awkward when I play that champion. I feel like if I'm playing Mafia Graves... It just fits the role, you know, you feel empowered playing this skin, so we'll see if I feel it, but I think this might be the first time I'm actually using the skin, so we'll see. But, uh, oh, real big leash. Alright, so I think she's doing my my level 2 cheese, and she's gonna go invade the Kha'Zix. If, what I, oh wait, no, he's starting, never mind. He's starting blue, so maybe she's just gonna go take his red buff. We'll see. But I gave her what I could for the leash there, and then I gotta return to the bot lane here. Alright. So, Brom, Ezreal. They're actually doing... They're doing Krugs, so they're gonna be level 2. So, Taric shouldn't have shoved like he just did. So we could have denied them some minions, so... That was a little... That was a little poor, I won't lie. But whatever. So, yep, there goes Ezreal's level 2. And we immediately just gotta... Respect that, and he's gonna get stunned and take a lot of damage here. So yeah, that's not too good for us though. Ooh, but the fighting potential of Graves coming up pretty big right there, and that Ezreal gets blasted to the face with some buckshot damage. Exhaust did get exuberated from Alteric, but uh, you know, that Ezreal's hurting right now, hurting. So we definitely came out ahead on that actually. I like it. I like it. So we don't have stun yet because he went with W and heal, but it doesn't matter right now. Ezreal can't even do too much, so he's going to be forced to last hit with his Q more than likely here, so not bad, not bad. And once level 3, we have a whole bunch of kill pressure on us once he does get that stun here. Oh my, last hitting brought to you by Gordon Ramsay. Alright, we'll go ahead and throw out the Q. I think that hit the Ezreal there and got the last hit, so not too bad. And now Ezreal's forced under turret, which he really, really struggles early on with. I got a free auto attack off, so I'm pretty happy with that. And Kha'Zix is actually going to be down here relatively soon, because he did start that blue path, so gotta be mindful of that, and I need to plop down a ward behind us after this wave. I'm gonna go for the rank 2 Q here, don't really care for my smoke screen just yet. Nice. Oh man, I should have. That was bad of me. I should have hit that uh, buckshot. I thought I was going to hit him, but just barely out of range there. Alright, so we actually see a slight CS lead and just lane pressure for us at the moment. So, pretty happy with that. And hopefully, we can just bully out this Ezreal. I can walk up because both their Qs are on cooldown and just auto attack him once. Always keeping the pressure on this kid. I'll even eat that key, I don't really care. Because you ain't getting the rest of this wave without a fight. Unless you queue it. Alright, he actually got hit by that Q pretty nice there. Just a little bit of damage. Keeping him low here. Keeping him on his toes. And let's see if we can get Tarek in range. If Tarek gets in range for a stun, I'm going to go pretty hard here in attempts to pick off this Ezreal. Alright, he executed that. Thank you. Right, there goes the stun. We'll go ahead and hop on in there. It actually got absorbed. I got a flash or else I'm gonna die. That stun had procs, which I'm dead now. Oh, he missed! He missed the slow, so that's really big for us. We're actually gonna go ahead and go in and pick up first blood on that kid. 
Might get the Ezreal, never mind. But uh, actually, we're going to go for it because I have red buff. Oh, I almost got the auto attack off. But uh, we got really lucky that Kha'Zix missed his W there. Had that connected, he might have been able to get his auto attack off and slow me. But easy, easy. Coming out with the two versus three there. Picking up first blood and a red buff for myself. Probably should have just gone on Braum instead of Ezreal there after I got red. But you know what? Whatever. It's no harm, no foul. So I'm just going to shove up this wave, and we're heading on home with a BF sword in the bank. Pretty happy with that. And Ezreal's going to miss about one and a half waves worth of XP here, so good, good stuff coming out of us. And we have a huge, huge relief now. So got that BF sword. Ezreal's more likely going to have tier, maybe boots. What does he have? Okay, he's actually not going for the tier build, so we still have so much more damage than him, and he's not. we don't have to worry about him scaling with that tier build, so we're in a really, really good spot at the moment. But yeah, that Kha'Zix committed really hard for that gank there, and I think he ended up taking a lot of minion damage as well, which was why he was just super squishy. But I'll take it. Alright, so I have no summoner spells. Ezreal has no summoner spells, so he's got to rely on his shift to get out of trouble. And if it's down, Terra can easily get in there and mess him up with this stun there. Ah, I gotta dodge Ezreal Q's though. They're starting to hurt as I say that and I eat one to the face. Sidestep. What? That hitbox. I just ate all the skill shots in the face. But whatever. I have some mana po or health potions and we have Taric as well, so it's not too bad. Alright, let's try and get some beef with this Ezreal here. If the stun goes down, you best believe. I'm going in there, Brom Shield comes up, so I'm just going to wait for that to exhaust, and then we'll go ahead and hit him up with the bug shot. Not a bad trade, not the best trade though, and we'll, we're popping some shots in that Ezreal, he's hurting, he's hurting. That was a good trade, that was a good trade. We have a lot of sustain in our lane as well, and Ezreal practically has no mana now as well, with not going for that tier build, so once we hit 6, this kid is dead. Yeah, he's gonna die once we hit 600%. I'm just gonna go and kill him. Unless Brom cock blocks me and blocks all of it, Ezreal's gonna die. Alright, he's got that. And we might ding 6 off this wave. It's gonna be close. Nope, it'll be next wave. Alright, what? It was this wave. Alright. Well, never mind. But I'm still looking to. I'm gonna kill this Ezreal then. You better believe it. Missed that minion, but whatever. Let's go ahead and. Both supports are out of the lane, and now they're back both in the lane, so never mind. I don't know what that was about. Yo, stun this kid. He's got no mana to be able to shift out, so he just dies here if he gets stunned. Never mind. I got hit first. Ugh. Sad. Alright, I'm gonna go ahead and throw down the alt TFs there, so that should be a kill for us. It actually gets blocked, but I'll... Aw, oh, he got it with an auto attack. Rip. Okay, that works. That was pretty bad of me. I thought Tarek was gonna go a little bit sooner, so I kind of... Initiated a little bit too quick there, but we'll end up get the turret dive as well with Nidalee and company. So there's 2-0 for us. But yeah, it was just a minor execution uh, error on that tower dive. I thought it was going to be popped a little bit sooner, so Tarek would take aggro. So I actually had to dash out of the turret range, and it kind of made it a little bit sloppy. But in the end, we got it. It's all good. Gonna go ahead and just get this wave here with my buckshot, and then I'll go ahead and help him at dragon, but I think they got it anyway, so never mind. And we will deny Ezreal with a siege wave, so we're pretty happy with that. Beautiful. And I'll get to go back, and... I could keep the pressure on him by damage, or I could be lame. Yeah, yeah, I'm gonna do it. Alright, all right. This is the proper thing to do. So I'm going to keep the pressure up and go pickaxe and we'll buy boots as well. We're going to just keep building that damage, keep harassing this Ezreal, because we don't have to worry about him outscaling us either. So we don't need to go for things like the Avers Blade. And I'll end up actually going for PD this game, because we have a lot of wave clear as well. So I'm going to go for the IE PD combo here. But yeah, the spot line's looking really good for us. We have both our summer spells up. Huge CS lead as well. And every other lane's doing well as well, so we don't have any pressure to really slam down this Ezreal, but I still want to slam him down, because 
Tarek and Ezreal, you know, there's going to be some slamming in that lane, if you know what I mean. You know what I mean? So. If they're not slamming outside the game, we're going to slam inside the game. That's, that's all I'll say. And I'll leave it at that. But uh, Ezreal going for the Bork first. I guess he's going Ghostblade Ezreal. I don't really think that's too good, because he's not really auto-attack reliant. So, that's interesting. We're going to go ahead and juke out on that Ezreal Q. We'll juke out on the next... Oh, I ran into the brown Q, though. Right. Alright, whenever Tarek wants to throw down a stun, I will back him up here. And Brom, going to do that where... Oh, we actually get the Ezreal all, so that's not too bad. But more than likely, that's going to happen every engage there. Brom's just going to throw up his shield, and I'm not going to throw any of my summer spells... Or not summer spells, but any of my skills into that because they're all just going to get blocked. So, you got to kind of play cat and mouse game with the Brom shield and then blow your load after it goes off. Rip TF, but I'm okay with this TF dying because I don't actually like that guy. But you guys missed out on Champion Select. But if you were there, you would know why. That smoke screen was the most depressing, depressing smoke screen I've ever shot in my life. Didn't get any of the three CS. That is so saddening. So saddening. But Kha'Zix was by, so we had to play a little bit passive here. While Nidalee does some work up in that top lane, hopefully. Ezreal's got no mana. Oh, we got baited. I might have to flash this Braum ult here. We'll see. Oh, they're going for Terra here, alright. So we're going to go ahead and throw down the uh, smoke screen. Kind of cause some havoc here. Or attempt to. And we actually might be able to turn this here. So we'll go ahead and flash. Oh my god, I'm oom. Alright, they're going to die anyways, but... Okay, he's got Braum. Maybe I get Kha'Zix here. I miss! This guy's so good! Why? I suck. Damn, dude. If I pop my potion a little bit earlier... Ah, oh, rip. That is awkward. That... <laughs> oh, that was awkward. That's awkward. That was awkward by everyone. That was awkward. Whatever. This is also going ham in that mid lane because TF poured it down to the bot lane, so rip that second turret. I'm just going to go ahead and get the rest of this wave here, and then we'll probably go back and have Infinity Edge, hopefully. Oh my god, that Q. Clearly lagged while I was casting that. Riot, please. Kappa. Alright, so we got the wave, and we'll go ahead and go back, get that IE. Right, we're good, we're good. Oh god, why did I cancel my deck? Oh well, oh well. I'm surprised that Brom waited so long to engage, and then when he did, he actually went for the Taric. I really didn't expect that. I was prepping to flash that uh, Brom ult, but I ended up being really, really hesitant to pop it there. So I don't know what's up with that. Do not jump in on that. Oh god, they're gonna get 1v2. <laughs> they don't have a turret there. They're so dead. But they have Taric, never mind. Okay, this guy's dead. Rip. That was almost really close to being a 1v2, I won't lie. Kha'Zix going in. Ooh, he's going for the kill. He gets the kill. I think he might get out. Unless Nidalee hits... No, oh, he's gone. Ooh, we're playing football, ladies and gentlemen. But ended up... You know, he didn't get the kill there, though. I thought he was definitely going to get the kill that Malphite, but... Glad he didn't. Glad he didn't. Alright, I need to dodge Ezreal Q's, man. I'm eating him for breakfast at the moment. Oh my. This guy's got my number. Oh god, that's a Garen. Okay. Well, that happened. I popped my Brahm ult into that, but you know what? Still got the kill. Calculated. Might be able to get this guy. Throw down the smoke screen. No, he's gonna be gone with that Brahm ult. But good teleport, good teleport out of the Garen. Got behind him. Got us the kill, and that's gonna be a turret and maybe transition it into Dragon as well once it spawns. I'm a little bit afraid. I'm going to go ahead and tick on my mana potion so I'm not oom um like I was during that last shenanza. I don't even know. I was trying to say shenanigans or extravaganza and I combined it too. Eh, Dragon's actually a long way out. I can go back. I have time to go back and pick up boots before Dragon even spawns, so I'm going to do that. We'll go ahead and get the booties, we'll buy a little bit of potions, we'll swap out the ward, or the trinket, and we'll buy a ward as well. So, got all of our items purchased for this dragon fight, and hopefully we can take the second one without any contestion here. I don't even know if that's a word, but I said it, so. 
sticking with it. Overall score is 10 to 5 though, I'm 3 0 oh, 5. Having a pretty good game right now, can't complain. Dragons up, cooldowns for Malphite probably up as well, so I have to watch their Wombo, because they have Malphite Yasuo. Very, very scary combo. Don't have Flash either, so I gotta play really far back until Malphite alts. That is the name of the game. We have Poke with TF and Nidalee, so I'm just going to wait for that. And we'll go ahead and position here. Ooh, can you stun? Oh, if that stun went on in Kha'Zix, that guy would have been Gonzo. But we actually don't have any mid turrets, so we're in a really, really tight spot here. Is that a dunk? Is that a dunk? Okay, the game's over now, because there, and he's not going to be able to follow up on that, so cool. So Malphite alts in just for me here, and we'll do a little dance with him, never mind, doesn't matter. But Yasuo wasn't even near to be able to follow up on that, so... <laughs> this Garen is just 3v5-ing. What a beast. Can I get the snipe? Can I get the snipe? The snipe! Alright, we got Brom. I'm going for Ezreal. I'm greedy. I want both of them. Alright. Where you at, boy? Where you at? Damn it. <laughs> Alright, we're good. We're good. We're good. I'm gonna stop his back, because I'm super BM. Got him. Alright. Oh my god, not even close, dude. Not even close. Did Malphite teleport back? Malphite teleported back. So I'm not going mid lane. I'm just going to go ahead and go bot lane and get all this delicious looking farm. Oh, thanks, Nidalee. Alright, so that was really big there, though. That Garen carried that team fight super hard. I'm going to go ahead and let him get the siege, and then we'll... Oops, accidentally got the siege there. Crit it. But uh, Garen getting that pick really, really started that fight off well for us because they lost so much of their... Kind of combo where Malphite, you know, alts in, Kha'Zix and Yasuo fly in, so that was really big. And the fact that Yasuo kind of got split up from Malphite as well, they really lost what their team is built around with that Yasuo comboing, so that was just a one team fight strictly out of positioning there. And I'll go ahead and go back, get my zeal component of the PD, and things are still looking bright. And I'm probably just going to go bottom, because it looks like Ezreal's pushing it. And, ooh, the 1v1 of the century. She loses that. Alright, well, you better have flash or you're dead. And you're dead. <laughs> Chelsea is actually getting pretty fed. That's, that's relatively scary. And I'm going to BM and take this blue, just because I really don't like this TF. So, we'll go ahead and get that. Boom, 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 boom. And he's not having the best of the game, so I have an excuse to take it. Alright, Ezreal, let's 1v1, man. You won't? You won't? Oh, you're not going back right there, kid. Okay, maybe he's going back. Can I stop him in time? Oh, never mind, he wasn't going back. Ooh, man, this Yasuo is getting really, really big, so that's kind of scary. But we'll go ahead and get this bot farm going. Okay, we crit it. Good. We're good. We got it. Oh, you're still here? How's it going, Ezreal? How's it going, Ez? Damn it, he had Flash. Alright, he was so gonna die right there, but we'll call worth on that. Flash for Flash. Even though it's probably not worth it, but all good. Alright, Ezreal. Duke it out with me! Pussy. Yasuo's just getting so many kills up in that top lane, though. Pretty scared about that, but we'll see if we can, uh... Juke around the Malphite Yasuo combo. Did I say Ezreal's getting fed? I meant Yasuo. Alright, I'm just gonna pressure onto this turret because he has no ult and he's weak and I really, I just don't respect him in general. So, pushing onto this turret here. Lots of deaths going up in that top line, damn. So, yeah, I guess I'm just gonna keep pressuring because I know this is 1v1 for the most part because no one else is on the map except in the top lane. Aw, oh, you didn't eat my Q, man. Alright, got the wave. Holy shit, we're running. I'm just gonna go ahead and pop that so we don't get fucked in the butt. And we're gonna run to Terek, because there's a minion wave right there. So whenever you're running from Yasuo, don't run to a minion wave, or else, you know, you die. STUN HIM! Oh my god. That was kind of a late stun. Damn, if he stunned him earlier, I think I would have been able to run out, but he waited for him to go on me. Well, that guy's fit as fuck. That's kind of not good, but okay. Oh, get dunked, kid. Get dunked, kid. He's dead. Rip. Ooh. Okay, all planned, all planned. 
Damn, Derek. Rip. Oh, Brahms AFK? Why? Oh, he's not AFK. What do you mean? I thought he was legit AFK. So, pretty much, we if we kill Yasuo, we win the game. He is legit all of their team, so that's going to be our win condition. And as long as we don't get grouped up for Malphite Yasuo, I think the game should be over. Hopefully it should be over. But he did just get a lot of gold there for a shutdown and the double kill, so got to be mindful of that. But if I have my flash up, I think it, if I'm good, I shouldn't get hit by Malphite, so we'll see. Might be a kill on a Malphite, he might have to ult away. Oh, that's awkward. You hate to see it. Tried to get over the wall with his ult, but ended up failing. So there goes their Wombo. So we definitely have a little bit of a power play at the moment. Hopefully he doesn't jump on me. Alright, we're good. Just gonna go ahead and get some CS here and there. And it looks like they're pushing top with Yasuo top, so... Ah, uh, damn, that jump. But yeah, I'm really... Ooh, that crit. To the dome. But yeah, as long as Yasuo is nowhere... Oh, do you have stun? If you stun Ezreal, he dies right now. Alright, we'll go ahead and juke out on those skill shots. I don't feel like dying to them. And we'll plop that down just to keep eyes on the Kha'Zix when he's ulted. Okay, whatever. Nothing comes of it. Just a lot of half fighting from both teams, I guess is what we'll call it. But we're holding our own. They got Yasuo up in that top lane, so pretty happy with that. Ezreal's pretty oom, so we're going to be able to pop him, probably. If we can get a stun on him, he will more than likely die. Stun, stun, stun. Okay, stun on Brown. Not too bad still. All right, you're <laughs> you're coming to melee range of a graze and expect not to get popped. You're crazy, kid. All right, so that's a free kill on Ezreal, and that's going to be a mid T2 turret. I'm not afraid of anyone because Yasuo's still dead. Easy, easy stuff. Let's get this wave actually, and then we will rotate and hopefully take the third dragon of the game for us. That'll be really big. Movement speed will help against Malphite, Yasuo, etc. All right, cool. So we're running straight for that dragon now. Okay, you're so nice. He even gives me the ward gold on the kill. Kha'Zix might be in a little bit of trouble here. I'm not going to use my little mana left to try and kill him there. I was just going to throw in some auto attacks. But he ended up dying anyways. But I want to make sure I have enough mana for quick draw at all times against their team. Cannot afford to get caught out here. Alright, I'll go ahead and hop this wall and we will begin the dragon here. And then I'm heading back, getting my PB, and we'll start building a Bloodthirster more than likely, because their Malphite, he's honestly not tanky enough to the point where I need a Last Whisper, so we're in a good spot at the moment. Cool, got that, and we'll go ahead and get the Vamp Scepter, and looking beautiful. I actually want Mana Pots, I don't even care for Health Pots at the moment. So, I'm gonna go collect the top farm, and then uh, TF's gonna get it. Never mind, I'll probably end up just getting a red buff. Oh, nice, I actually get top farm. He pussied out of the wave. Siege minion, don't do it. Did you see my siege minion? Right before I died, it was like, how can I fuck over Connor today? I'm just gonna turn around and auto the one health siege minion, and we'll both die. Thanks for that siege minion, I appreciate it. Oh god, I almost died. Get the red buff! I'm dead. Hello? I'm dead. I'm alive? I'm dead. I'm dead. Stun? I'm dead. Damn. I tried to steal red buff with my ult. I don't really know why I did. But then I got wombo combo. So... rip. Ooh. That's awkward. But they have no cooldowns left, so they actually should be able to win this fight, I would think. If they landed some skill shots here. Middle Spear. Ooh, good jump. Good jump. He's dead. Ooh, that was a pretty late flash. He's gonna get hit. Yeah, Rick Brown. And Garen is doing Garen things, trying to open up some gates here, as Trick would say. So, while they're distracted, winning a fight in our jungle, we're getting their base. So, pretty happy with that. And we actually ended up bringing it back and getting some kills. He doesn't have all. Yeah, he's he is so dead. All right. Yeah, Rip. He got the turret though. That's worth. That's worth. So top lane still pushing. TF. You could get blue, but I guess I'll just take it from you again. Oh, they surrendered. What the yo? They were just coming back, man. 
All right, whatever. Still not that bad of the game. Nothing really much to say about it. Most of the lanes won, except Yasuo was getting a little fed in the end, but I think our comp just outskilled them anyways, so... Hmm. They probably surrendered just because they knew. If we didn't really throw, we probably had the W, so... If you liked the video, go and throw a like. I'll have all my other social media, such as Twitch, Twitter, and Facebook, as well as some smashies in the info box below. And as always, guys, I'll see you all next time.